this video, we will cover how to set up a junior class page. First, a quick revision on class pages. You can access them from your timetable on your dashboard, your side menu, or your top menu, depending on how your school has set it up. Your system administrators will create your class pages for you and it is up to you to build components onto your page. It is important to acknowledge the purpose of your class page when adding components to create an engaging page. This can usually be answered by thinking about the audience of the page. In some cases, your main audience will be the students. However, in the junior world, students can be too young to take on an active part in class pages. So parents might be the main audience for some junior class pages. You should check with your heads of school about whether parents will have access to your class pages and who the intended audience is for your page. If students are your main focus, your class page could be a collaborative and informative space that they can interact with to know what they are learning in class and what is coming up. If parents are your main focus, your class page could be an informative space where they can view what has been learnt in class, future learning activities, and generally what has been happening in your class. You might find that your audience is both parents and students, so in this case, your page could be a combination of the two. Now, down to the nitty gritty of creating a junior class page. I will now start from scratch with a blank class page to show you how easy it is to set up a class page. It should be noted that your school may have applied a template to your class page with components already added to your page, so it may look different to this. If your school has provided you with a template, you can use this to guide you on how to set up your class page. From the Learning tab in the Components Library, adding the class teachers and class list components on our page will allow us to view the members of the class. Adding a news component will allow students to receive notifications about any new notices or important class information. It should be noted that generally parents will not receive notifications for this news unless they are specifically added to the class page as members. A blog component can be added to share images, videos and information about activities done in class. This works well on a class page with a parent audience. A social stream allows students to ask questions, not only to the teacher, but to their classmates as well. It is also a great opportunity for young students to learn how to interact socially online. This is a great one for class pages with a student audience. Tiles and image slideshows are a great way to engage students or parents. Tiles are especially great for creating a banner to make the page aesthetically pleasing. Finally, a course outline can be applied to your class page to show learning activities or feedback instances. Depending on the purpose of the class page, the age of your students and your school's requirements, the course could be added for students to interact with learning activities and or to be used for continuous feedback on a student's progress. And voila, our junior class page is complete. You can now explore and create your own, but most of all, have fun, junior teachers.